Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll be studying about polarization vector and polarization. Okay. Uh, this is represented by vector. Okay. Uh, before understanding polarization vector, uh, we need to understand what is polarization. Okay. Polarization. See, uh, polarization is basically uh, defined as uh, alignment of dipole moments of permanent or induced dipole in the direction of ele applied electric field is called polarization. Okay, suppose uh, this is a general applied electric field, okay, and you have your random dipoles, okay. The alignment of this okay in the direction of electric field means these dipole moments uh, they may be permanent or induced dipoles okay they will be aligned in the direction of your applied electric field and this uh, process or this uh, thing you can say it is a polarization okay so alignment of dipoles in direction of applied external field okay this is the electric field this is your polarization now coming on to uh, polarization vector okay uh, Polarization vector, uh, you can say it is a vector quantity uh, which can be described as the extent up to which molecule of a dielectric becomes polarized by an electric field or oriented in the direction of electric field. Okay, means the extent up to which the molecule will be polarized. Okay, means it measures the quantity, you can say. Okay up to which the uh, dipole moment will be polarized okay extent to which molecule dielectric comes polarized okay by an electric field okay this is your defined as polarization just a second wait for two seconds Actually, the laptop is uh, discharged, so I need to put in the charger. Okay, now coming on to our topic, uh, your polarization vector is defined. Now, <clears throat> suppose uh, P is your dipole moment. Okay, vector P is your dipole moment. Okay, and uh, N is your number of atoms per unit volume. Okay, number of atoms. Per unit volume. Now, a polarization vector can be defined as dot product of uh, n and vector p, or you can say, uh, sorry, dot product will not be there. N into vector p. Okay, this will be your polarization vector, and this will also be, you can say, electric dipole moment unit volume of dielectric right so <clears throat> this is your polarization vector polarization vector can also be defined as 
electric dipole moment per unit volume. In mathematical terms, okay. So electric dipole moment, what will be? It will be Q I into D, and volume will be A into D. E. So this will be Q I upon A, or you can say sigma I. Okay. Q I is your uh, induced charge on the surface of dielectric. Okay. And uh, sigma I you can say induced surface charge. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if you see that this is your gap step, okay. Facing surfaces are having opposite charge, and let's say this value is Q. What will be the direction of electric field? It will be in this direction, right? Uh, what will be your electric field? Here, if you say, if you want to calculate, it will be E naught is equals to sigma upon epsilon naught, or you can say Q upon A epsilon naught. Your surface area is A. Right? Now, if you put a dielectric okay, between them, just a second. Suppose uh, this is your dielectric, okay, which has been put. Now, what will happen? These surfaces are having positive charge, okay. So this surface, the negative charge will be induced, okay, okay. And these are having negative charge. A positive charge will be induced inside them, okay. And that direction of electric field inside the dielectric, it will be in this direction right and uh, if you consider this as ei means the magnitude of electric field ei okay ei will be sigma i upon epsilon naught that means qi upon a epsilon naught qi is your induced charge on the surface of dielectric okay now what will be net electric field in this situation See the electric field due to this was due to these surfaces was in this direction and electric field due to dielectric is in this direction. So your net electric field it will be E naught minus E i. That means your E E net it can be written as E naught by k is equals to E naught minus E i. This implies your E i is equals to e naught 1 minus 1 by k okay similarly you can write your qi induced charge as q 1 minus 1 by k and induced surface charge density sigma 1 minus 1 by k. this will be your <coughs> induced charge induced surface charge density okay and your uh, polarization vector and the process polarization okay so thank you.